I'm rocking the baby blue and silver today. I bought this belt the other day. I absolutely adore it. I think it's so pretty. Got my silver shoes on. My bell bottoms. And my baby blue too. Nobody, nobody but you. Nobody, nobody but. Nobody, nobody but you. Nobody, nobody but you. Have a wonderful day, guys. And enjoy the rest of my video. My video. My video. My video. Mm, my video. My video. Enjoy. Mm. I've just parked my car in a really precarious position. I'm in town and I want to go and get some work done. So I just parked my car. I hope it's safe. There's no. There's nothing that tells me I can't park there, so I'll just park there. But it is in town, so I'm a bit, mm, we'll see. I don't want to show you the road. <laughs> but I'm basically going to a place called Turtle Bay. It's a Caribbean restaurant, and it's by the Barcade, which is a new establishment that's been created in Plymouth. That's where I'm on my way to. It looks nice. I just need to make my way. Hi. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I love people. This is why I love people. They're so lovely, honestly. So I might check out the barcode first before I go to Turtle Bay, but it'll be really nice to do that. So this is where I am. It's by the Casey Club, the ZZs, and Brew Dog. I think this is a pub. This looks incredible. I might be able to sit in here and work. I'll find out for sure. Okay, it's a nice chill spot. It's not too bad. And I think the cinema, this place called the Casey Club as well, everything else is in here. Okay, it's not too bad. It's a beautiful day to be out, so I'm loving it. So I've basically stuck with my original decision to go to Turtle Bay. And I'm making my way there now. It's just across the road, it's a Caribbean eatery in Plymouth and it looks really lovely. In fact, I'm going to video it from here so you can see it. Sunday fun day, Sunday fun day. I'm going to go and sit there and just do some work today. I'm excited! So I tried Turtle Bay but they're completely and utterly booked like they are fully booked and the guy at the door called Brad he told me that if I wanted to so Brad basically told me that I can either stay there or wait an hour and actually make sure everything you know is okay because right now it's super busy so they have the bookings however I could get to Brew Dog which is where I was initially and I could try there as well. But the Casey Club looks really good. The Casey Club looks really good. Hold on. I've just been offered an opportunity to go hang out with some people. They looked super awesome. Honestly, I should have. But. <sighs> no, they looked really cool. But this is where the plane must come in. Fine. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I I just laugh at the opportunities that come my way because I could have easily said yes and gone out and my whole evening would have gone out of the window. I am actually on my way to the cozy club. I'm in here now. It looks beautiful. It looks very cozy. <laughs> and I just can't wait to go and get some work done because that's what I'm here for. 
Okay, I'm going to try Brew Dog. I'm just going to wait to be seated. I hope and I hope and I hope that they have a seat with a charger so I can actually charge my phone and get things done. Just going to wait to see. I have gone and switched everything. Well, mainly my, <laughs> my necklace because I'm going to the library. I want to go and do some work. I've got my bag with me. I switched my belts and my shoes. So I'm feeling super comfortable. Oh, it's so peaceful. I'm going to the library. <laughs> I can't wait to just get my work done. I have a hand in tomorrow. It's going to get loud, so. So I have a hand in tomorrow and I'm going to go and get things done. I aim to finish my work today because I need to finish it today. I've got work the rest of the week. We're having a lot of people coming to work and it's amazing because I finally get to serve people. <laughs> it's incredible and work is so fun. I want to get everything done, get everything finished and then I know that tomorrow I can hand in my work tonight so that it gets, you know, I meet my deadline for tomorrow. I don't have too much to do. My supervisor is very happy with my work. <laughs> so I'm super happy. I think I've done really well for myself. I have totally and utterly focused the past two weeks and I have built a really strong base and foundation for my work both my job and both <laughs> both my job and my master's study I've also built a very strong foundation for my life I went through a few changes and I thank God I thank God that he has given me this mindset the challenge helps me to grow pruning helps me to grow I am so lucky to have that mindset because throughout my whole life so many abrupt things happen so many changes happen and I'm the kind of person who who's able to navigate them, learn the lessons, learn the tips and tricks, just move on and take it to the next level. And I'm so, I'm so grateful. Yeah, you know what, it's so funny because when, when something happens in your life that's unexpected, it's almost like a death. That's how I see it. When something happens that's unexpected, that takes something away, or when you lose something or someone, it's like a death. I see it like a death and I mourn it like a death. And after I finish mourning, it's kind of okay time to move on the person's gone to a better place <laughs> it's time for you to go to a better place you know it's just that's just part of life things exit and things come into your life and you just have to leave the things that exit and move on with the things that come into your life it's just it's just a part of the process and I'm so grateful that God has given me the spirit. It's the same in my studies. That's what I've been doing. I've been dropping different modules that I don't need. Not modules, but different um, like themes for my dissertation, my projects that I don't need. And when I drop it, immediately something much better, a better idea comes into my mind. And look at where I am. I've written nearly 6,000 words of my dissertation already. In fact, I've written more than that. And now all that's left, it's the 5,000 for the main study. God is good. Life is good. And I've, I've talked for too long. I've talked for way longer than I wanted to because I'm, I'm so pumped up. I've got my bottle of water, I've got my bag, I've got everything that I need, and I'm just going to go and study. Mm -hmm. Help yourself to grow. Make challenge. Oh wow, look at that crow. <laughs> Help yourself to grow. Take challenge on the chin and let it help you grow because trust me, it will happen. You will grow and life is all about pruning and producing more fruits so allow yourself to be pruned by whatever circumstance situation that comes into your life and guess what be fruitful because that's the end goal <laughs> so i just basically realized that we have a rooftop drinking situation in plymouth because it's been locked down i didn't realize this actually exists and just below our feet just below our feet there's the SCU and it runs all the way to the stairs 
and they have club nights that can fit 1400 people in there <laughs> I had no clue and basically what they're doing until Friday is they're having open rooftop drinking sessions and people are just gathering together socially distanced and having a drink how awesome is that it starts again in September and I'm definitely going to be here for that but this is so cool I can't wait to meet lots of people for now c'est moi I've gone home I've had some lunch I've changed again you can see me walking towards the window I'm in my Adinkra print leggings ba, 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 ba. <laughs> and I've got my blue top on as well and I'm just going to go back to the library. I've set my goal to half eight. I need to finish my methodology, round off my literature review, and make sure. Hey, that's hey. <laughs> that is it. Hey! Ah, I'm going to get inside and work. This is so fun. Dance, everybody, take their hat in this party. Everybody knows now. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. <laughs>